If you're thinking about coming to Harry Potter Studios in London, then this video is for you. Because today I'm on a fully guided behind the scenes tour of Harry Potter Studios to see if it's worth the money. So let's explore the studios together. But before we head into the studios, I need to tell you two very important things. First of all, the studios aren't actually in London itself. They are around an hour's drive north of London. And I'm afraid to tell you, you can't take the Hogwarts Express or the flying car up there. It's also important to note that tickets to the studios will always sell out. So please guys, remember to book as soon as possible. And if you haven't booked your trip to London yet, then check if you can actually get tickets. A trick here is to check Get Your Guide because they've got a lot of different tour operators and these tours are with bus transfer from London. And with all that practical information out of the way, let's head into the studios. So I was on this tour that took us behind the scenes and already from the beginning that meant that we weren't standing in any lines and they actually took us through a staff entrance. So I felt like a VIP on this tour and uh, in the end of this video I'm gonna tell you if I think it's worth the money because it is quite expensive. And as you can see the tour starts in the Great Hall which we all know from the movies and this is the actual set that were used in the movies which is uh, a common theme in the studios. And then the guided part of the tour started and I must say our guide here was so knowledgeable. It was absolutely insane how much she knew about Harry Potter. So she took us through this first part of the studio tour which is just an overwhelming experience because there's so much stuff from the movies that you could just you could honestly spend a few hours in this first part just walking around and taking it all in i've actually been here before i think five years ago and i must say that they've done a really good job of changing a lot of stuff and making it even more interesting for instance there's these uh, live performances from death eaters which i think was really funny to see if you're a Harry Potter fan, you're gonna love spending time in the studios. You can even walk into the Forbidden Forest and see the massive spiders. And they've even built the platform that we can't access at the King's Cross Station, us muggles. So it's awesome that they build it here. And you can walk inside the train and it's just a funny experience. Halfway on the tour, there's this huge cafe where you can get a, a burger or a hot dog and obviously a butter beer. I've never tried this before, so this is a proper taste test. So here we go. Yeah, buttery, definitely. <laughs> it's non-alcoholic, so everybody can try it. This is, this is, it's kind of like an ice cream in a mug, in a weird way. I think this outdoor part is great, where you can walk into the Dursley house, or you can walk into the herbology class, where you can try and <laughs> grab a mandrake. And then we're heading inside again to the creature effects, which is amazing to see. You can see the trolls, a basilisk and a lot of other stuff. Unfortunately, it was quite dark in these rooms, so you're gonna have to imagine that. The new Gringotts area was probably my favorite part of the studio tour and I got a photo with a goblin, so that's always nice. In general, there was so much new stuff since my last visit and uh, this dragon inside Gringotts was probably my favorite thing. And if you've ever dreamt of walking in Diagon Alley, then come to Harry Potter Studios, because you can! And there's a Death Eater, and he's about to attack Ollivanders! Yep, sorry. <laughs> but he did, and it was cool once again to see a bit of interactiveness here in uh, the studios. And after Diagon Alley, we are walking past a massive model of Hogwarts, which was also really interesting to see. So, as you've seen, we've just concluded the Harry Potter tour, and as you know, I was on the fully guided the behind the scenes tour, and in my opinion, that was a really, really good tour, especially for super fans like me. Whether you should go on the fully guided the behind the scenes tour or just do a normal trip up here, that totally depends on you. And whether you're a super geek like me, if you are that, then I'm sure you're gonna enjoy the fully guided tour, but it is quite expensive. And honestly, if you're just a normal fan, I'm sure a normal visit to the studios will be just fine. 